on the repeat, it would be a neat idea to do it, you know, just a little softer. I hope this works. So what's kind of neat is you could do it on the repeat softer and crescendo like I tried to demonstrate there. Now, this is how I made a recording the other day for you and or for anyone who wants to check this out. What we're preparing here is I took that teacher melody down an octave and then eventually this can be played as a three voice idea with hopefully the melody being predominant in the right hand and balancing the hand so that the top harmony part is softer. So essentially you're playing the same thing, but you're hearing this down an octave lower in that extra voice. So it will be a octaves and a, th and a second or third voice, depending on how you look at it. I suppose it's a second voice. Here we go. Now, I know I should have finished it a little better, but this is going to be what it would look like if you took that melody down that the teacher was playing on first an octave higher, then an octave lower, and now we're just putting it as a voice above the usual melody line, which is in darker ink in this edition. Unfortunately, when you see this, both of the voices are equally loud. What I did before, so when you learn this in playing all of the parts together as one person, you want it to sound so that da 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 di da 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 di. That part in the right hand will be louder than this other part. So I'm going to play it one last time with the lower voice teacher part. I didn't quite stop it soon enough. Ha! Huh. So if that gets to be really easy for you to play, we can just increase the tempo to perhaps, well, I don't know. Oops, I was decreasing the tempo. Why don't we try it at 90? And we have to apply that. Ooh, it's so much fun. I love my iPad. And let's just do that in the first part. And then I'll stop it. could play it softer the second time. Now, what we can do is, if you're feeling really bold and daring, oh my gosh, I want to do a quarter note equals 100, maybe. Woo, party. Um, Oh my goodness, there's like a siren. Well, I hope that's nothing bad. I'm hearing like a tornado siren or something. 
Well, we're going to do this anyway. Here we go. So that was a lot of different ways to hear it. Did I actually do? Oh, yeah, that was actually at 100. Happy practicing. Best wishes. Bye.